I'm going to quickly show you how you can add vector silk screens to printed circuit boards made in Eagle CAD. Um, so this is a really basic design. Um, so there's a lot of information online about it, but there are a few ways of doing it and a lot of them are quite tricky. And uh, for instance, the standard bitmap import creates very kind of jagged lines on everything. We're going to start off and um, we're going to try and design everything in Inkscape. So for that, we need something we can work off. So we're just going to take our design and print it in Eagle CAD, um, print it to a PDF, um, turn off all the scaling, scale factor of one, um, and no mirroring or anything like that. So just click OK, um, and then we'll go into Inkscape and we'll open the file in Inkscape, uh, default settings, and we get something that looks a bit like this. Uh, so as it is, um, this is an A4 page with our thing on, and we want to make the page the same size as the PCB itself. You just go to Document Properties, um, Resize Page to Content, make sure all of those are zero, and click Resize. And I'm just going to change the default units to millimeters here as well. Um, so now we have a copy of what we had before, but in Inkscape, and we can start placing stuff on there and making sure it's nicely sorted out. So I'm just gonna import a few graphics. Um, it's open source hardware logo maybe. Um, now this is gonna be tiny, so probably the text won't come out very well. So all I'm gonna do is ungroup it and delete that text. And then I'm going to um, import a penguin because you know, why not? And we'll take that and we'll just kind of try and arrange everything nicely on, on the circuit. Okay, so now that's done, uh, we don't want our circuit getting in the way, so we'll just select it and delete it. And then we select all, and on the path, we do object to path. And this makes sure that any fonts or anything we had actually get turned into lines um, that the uh, the SVG converter can, can deal with. And that's all we need. Um, some other things require you to get rid of Bezier's and stuff like that, but this is literally all you have to do for this. So you take it and you save it as an SVG file. Then you need to go to this website here. Um, so this is something I've done that just completely online, um, it, within your browser, uh, it creates the scripts you need. So you need to choose the CAD layer that you want to put it on. Um, so in Eagle CAD, if you go to View and Layer Settings, you'll see a bunch of layers. And it's basically which one of these you want to put it on. We're going to put it on the bottom, so we'll have B names. Um, and then we leave everything else as it is, choose the file, select it from here. It'll take a few seconds, but once it's done, you'll see a preview here. Um, this won't have any of the sort of negative polygons um, removed, but there's a line from each one. And when it imports into Eagle CAD, they actually will be removed. Uh, so all you have to do now is click in the text area, select all, copy it, and then in Eagle CAD, go to the command box, paste it into the command box and press enter. And everything's in there. Um, so this is not just a bitmap, it's an actual editable vector. So if we don't like something, maybe this, we can kind of move it out a bit. Um, and actually it uses very little space um, compared to a normal bitmap thing. So it'll be much easier to um, pan around your circuit and edit other things when this information is in here. So that's it. You are ready to now send this off and get it manufactured and everything's completely sorted. Um, so this is like, I think, a bunch easier than a lot of the other methods I've seen of doing it so far. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please subscribe and share this video. Um, I'm going to be trying to do a lot more microcontroller, electronics, home automation type projects in the future.